plums is about understanding what we can know from a graph even when we're not given specific points. So graphs are set up where the horizontal line is the x-axis. We also call this our input. It's the controlling value. Then when we have a value for it, what is its corresponding y value? This is the output. When we have this value put in, what is the result? So in the context of this, it's talking about shopping. If you're buying some fruit, how do you know which one is more? And we can tell that by looking at this graph without actually needing values. Because if on the bottom, it's saying the weight of the fruit that we're purchasing, and why is the cost that we have to pay for that fruit? We can look at the graph and see the peaches line is above the fruit line. So if I took, say right here was a value of one pound. And so if I put this dot down my line, at this point on the X axis, the quantity is the same. The peaches and plums are both at one pound, but what does it mean for the cost? Well, the plums cost is down here where the peaches cost is up here. For the same quantity, the peaches has a higher cost than the plums do, and we, prove, we can see that by the line. Now, if we want to have, um, so we can say, well, peaches is more because the line is higher for the same quantity, or the cost is higher for the same quantity that we're purchasing. Then asking, well, how do you know? Well, the line is above that. And if we want to use mathematical terms related to linear functions, we could say the slope. The slope is our line. It's the steepness of our, our, our function. And so the way that works is our slope is our rise over our run, our change in y over our change in x. So if the x's are the same, but my y value is higher, it means I have a greater rate of change. Therefore, I have a greater cost per pound for the peaches than the plums. So um, it's just the line is sharper, so I know it has a greater cost per pound. Then the last question says, well, if bananas are worth less than peaches and plums, where would the line fall? They don't give us specifics and we're not worried about that. We just know that if, plum, uh, if bananas are worth less than plums and less than peaches, the line would have to be below the plum line. We don't care if it's right here, if it's right down there, we just care to know that it is less than the plums value to show that it has a smaller slope, which has a lesser rate of cost per pound.